We start at every meeting. We all just make sure we've got somebody taking minutes because it's on a rotation and nobody keeps track. Well, what's the first thing I'm going to ask? Okay. Who wants to take minutes? Yeah. It may be my turn. I don't know. Okay. Well, yes, of course. I appreciate that. All right, everybody, let's get started. <clears throat> Pardon the voice, it'll probably be this way next month, too. Call this meeting to order. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, we've got a uh, relatively short agenda today. First thing I'd like to ask is who's going to be taking the minutes this month? Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right. Uh, we have a couple guests. Tell us who you are. I'm Chuck Jansen, a prior member of the rec committee, and I just have to come in and check to see how you all are doing. All right. all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I make a comment or two? Yes, sir. Thank you. And hope to see you making phone calls. <laughs> yeah, I saw them back just, there. Just, 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 just. Especially just Trey. Yeah. And, and just John. John. <laughs> okay. John Heidner. Oh, I didn't see John. <laughs> All the J's and one T. Yeah, great. <laughs> All right. Um, one thing before we get started, uh, I know you've been some of you have been sending me your uh, activity reports, and some haven't. Um, one of the things that Steve did was went ahead and sent it to Tammy, and so I talked with her about this. And if you can get that, get those to her before the uh, before the meeting, then what will happen is once the minutes are taken and they're finalized, she'll attach all of that to. Um, to a file so it can be posted up on the website. Okay. So we send it to Tammy? Send it to Tammy, yes. I will forward yours to her. <laughs> All right. Uh, first thing, let's go over our amenities. And Debbie, let's start with you. I walked the trail yesterday, and there are a couple more trees that have been cut down, which I appreciate. Everything was seen fine. Um, and I asked Jessica, and she said there's new cement areas for the... Um, new Yeah, for the um, disc, golf. disc golf. Other than that, 
Branchwood looks good. I don't know of any problems there other than trying to get people out to vote. <laughs> That's all you can do. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. Ken? Park, everything uh, looks fine there. Drove through there um, recently and um, bathrooms look pretty good. Um, nothing major to report. I haven't had a chance to really see anybody when I'm out there for whatever reason. There's no one there, but hopefully I get a chance to talk to some people in the near future. It even gets quieter in January. <laughs> it is winter. Yeah, so, okay, thank you. Uh, Jackie? I drove through the RV park storage and it's there. <laughs> so I guess if there's no, if there's no damage, there's nothing to, to report on that. Um, same with Lake Ann, it's much quieter. You can tell that, I was telling Rick, you can tell the water certainly is lowered with the drawdown. Uh, there's, I'm sure you guys noticed, but there's one pontoon that's kind of moored on the bank and half kind of out of the water, but um, it looks real good. Uh, Thanksgiving weekend, there was a family 16 out there playing kickball and talked to them and they were um, just having a good time and the gra grandparents could drive up and watch while they were all playing that and it, they just, it's a nice safe place and they brought their dog and thought it was a great time so they were enjoying it. But, Nothing, there was a little gravel that hadn't been cleared on Windermere, however you say that road, but it's been cleared too since all the storms, so it looks good. Great, thank you, Jackie. Mary. There. Uh, the tennis complex, I know that they have requested in the 2020 budget have two more of the courts resurfaced and they definitely need them. I talked to a lot of patrons at Rudin Hall and um, they're just so complimentary of the staff, especially the decorations in Georgia. I mean, she brought her own personal decorations in and um, everyone is just so pleased with them. The line dancers made a positive comment. They requested a new long cord um, for the, the music and it's been provided, so you know everything's going well there. They had a dance Saturday night with a jazz combo, and they had 275 people wow. attend. Wow. It was a huge success. So. And that was cool. free. It was yeah. free, and they and so and people came and went and back and forth. So it was never completely packed. There was always room for dancing and for people to sit. They did a beautiful job. That's it. All right. Very good. Thank you. Jan. <laughs> everything is, everything looks much, much better uh, this month than it did uh, right after the, the big rain and the big flood. Uh, kudos to the staff for making that happen. Um, did talk to a uh, couple of members and words like awesome and great are used many times when I'm talking to the dog park users. Uh, they're happy to have the mitts well staffed and not have to bring their own supplies. So again, that's, that's an absolute positive. Uh, there was um, the soap dispenser in the ladies room is either not working or it's empty. And one of the members did suggest, and this has probably been addressed by, by POA staff, that what would be wrong with putting a fence and dividing the large dog park into large and small dog? I mean, there are a few disputes, but they're handled pretty readily. But uh, you're bound to have those when you've got the big and the small dogs together sometimes. I didn't know if that had ever been brought up at POA or? We had considered that, and uh, we feel like that usage would, would uh, create um, continuous maintenance issues by okay. having a, a, a smaller confined area. Okay. We, I mean, we have issues anyway. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, so. That's okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Rick. Should that come up again, then I've at least got an answer for them. But basically, that's about it. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, the gun ranges. Um, I went out there the other day, <clears throat> excuse me, spoke with Royce, and uh, it had been a little slow, and then it started to pick up again. Had a couple of shooters come up uh, when I was out there, as well as already people on the court, uh, out on the uh, ranges. So. Uh, it looks good out there. It seems to get, there's always cars 
parked out at the pistol and rifle range, and typically what I pull up to the uh, trap and skeet, there's always a line of cars. So, I mean, it's only open two days a week now, so. I, it's, I've gone a couple of times on a Sunday and, and been able to watch a couple of the tournaments. It's been pretty interesting, so. Um, it's it's very well stocked. Carol does a great job out there, and uh, that, that's about it. It's nice and cleaned up as well around there. Fish on. Wouldn't me. Um, I didn't know Val was not going to be here today. Okay, I didn't hear. Steve. Right, uh, Tenure Creek and Avalon Lake Avalon Park. Uh, Tenure Creek, last time I had reported about a really massive tree down right in the trail that uh, seemed precarious to me. It's been cleared. Thank you, whoever took care of that. Thank you so yep. much. That was a, a beast of we, a tree. We got it last week, and yep. there was some, there was some uh, size uh, yeah. in, in attempting to do that, but right. um, we, it was, it, it was finally done well I, mean, I think it needed it, to be it was done, so about thank you. to the uh, end of our expertise but we've, right. we've managed yeah <laughs> I, I can see that uh, so thank you for that uh, everything else seems to be in good shape uh, uh, things are kind of settling back in with uh, since the storms uh, still some trail work significant trail work that needs to be done over there but as I reported last time the uh, volunteer team for Tanyard Creek is on hiatus for the winter uh, but I have joined the Tenured Creek winter trash team I've been through training uh, I've been through initiation there's some hazing involved uh, I know now the secret handshake don't ask to see it because I can't show it to you but if you're interested in joining the Tenured Creek winter trash team you can talk to me and I can uh, give right. you the inside scoop on that all good there. All good also over on Lake Avalon as far as I can see. Uh, Joan does a good, a good job keeping an eye on everything over there. And I'm sure it'll be ready to go after, uh, after the winter. It'll be ready. The beach will be ready to go for, uh, for spring usage. So I think that's everything from Tenure Creek and Lake Avalon Park. Mm -hmm. And Chris, the Medfield Conflex Complex is, is looking good. The only thing I noticed there is the door on the men's restroom is a little funky. There's a little slight little bend in it, and the, the lock-in set area looks uh, a little bit um, crooked. You know, um, I know that area is under a lot of stress occasionally, and so it's just showing a little bit, but it's still totally functional at this time. Everything else there looks good. And uh, moving over to the west to uh, London Park, that facility is looking good. There was a gentleman walking his dog yesterday. I talked to him, and um, they, they, he really likes the place, just complimentary of it. And we also have that cement bench that's, that's uh, roped off, marked off. Is that something that we're going to be able to fix, or is that going to be removed? That's going to that's gonna be removed. Um, we're we're going to have, well, our heavy equipment crew is moving around from location to location, and when they settle in on that area, they're going to, they're going to take that out of there. Yeah. It looks pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's about it then. All right. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> uh, that's all I had for, yes. May I add one more thing about Branchwood? Sure. I apologize. Um, there are, on the trail, there are two sections of old pipe, white pipe, that have come up and I would assume they were from the irrigation of the golf course. But they, they have risen out of the earth. <laughs> How in the world? <laughs> and so, and I would assume it's from the rains, the heavy okay. rains and stuff. But there are two sections of about 10 feet each, and they've kind of just popped up. And I don't know if it's something we ever want to get rid of. Yeah, Joan. Oh, I was just going to tell Jessica she could stand up and speak or try. Okay. Um, because we removed some before. Yes. We removed the blue one. Yes, the big blue one. Um, but I saw those white ones out there. Are they not connected? I, I don't. I knew they were old ones and they were connected 
No, I think they're connected. I think they were connected to the, the um, irrigation at one time. But there are certain sections that are broken now. We'll get Mark um, okay. Nelson, who's our grounds okay. expert, to okay. take a look. Okay. And then as Trey volunteered, yeah. if, if there are something that can be removed, he can help with that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Is there anything else from current business? We didn't have a quorum last time, so we just, yeah, so, so what are you saying? The weather's a lot better this month though, right? Yeah, we're all here. Much better. Uh, all right, new business, uh, 2020 budget and its impact on our amenities. Um, we didn't pass the budget and I know we're going for it again, but there was three very specific things to recreation that were gonna be a, a, a part of, of that. And the pickleball, the archery, and the dog park. So uh, Tom asked me to put this on the agenda. I'd like to talk to a little, talk, have you talk a little bit about it and then have a little conversation if we need to about it. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure that everybody was aware that all three of those are on hold. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people on this committee know, knew that beforehand, but I just want to make sure that everybody in the community was aware that uh, with the assessment increase not passing, all three of those projects were put on hold. Now, it's possible uh, they could, uh, the board, uh, if the assessment increase on the second vote was approved, it's possible that the board will recast the budget. Um, that'll be a decision they'll have to make. Uh, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, the board was well aware of the importance of those three projects. Uh, so, you know, I just wanted to make sure that the community was aware of that information. All right, thank you. Let's move. Any, anything, anybody have anything else for new business? Anyone? Anything? Let's go to staff reports then. Tom? Uh, right now, our primary focus is on um, uh, the vote. Uh, the ballots will go out on the 12th. Uh, if you're able to volunteer to make calls, we'll, we need as many people, as many volunteers, as many hours as possible to try and get the vote out. It's been a little bit challenging with the uh, Christmas holidays and everything, and I think there's a little bit of voter fatigue also. Uh, but uh, uh, we encourage uh, everybody to volunteer and help out as much as they can. Uh, other than that, uh, getting ready for the uh, Christmas break, um, and uh, I remember was talking to Tommy uh, and they have 33 events in a 30 day period pretty much every single day they have uh, an event here of some sort either at lunch and or at dinner uh, so uh, really doing well so cool. thank it. you Rick so uh, John saw a very busy um, November at the gun range we um, had some classes. Uh, it was up significantly from last year. He just completed a class this past weekend and had pretty good attendance, better than expected. Uh, if you remember in years past, we took a break in the month of December, January, and February. It looks like um, we may hold classes all of those months, but that's a little bit yet to be determined. Depends on who signs up. The large tree on Tanyard Creek was removed. That was that was a big, a big thing for us. Um, our fisheries department still uh, is doing weekly inspections of the Trafalgar site, and um, we just completed dam inspections. Um, we like to wait till the, the cooler time of the year so that the guys don't get chiggers and ticks and that kind of thing. But now that the inspections are done, they're gonna be out doing work on the dams, removing some of the trees and saplings that have grown up and, and making sure that, uh, that, um, that they stay uh, up to par with that and we don't have any issues there. Um, I saw that we are now beginning some cleanup work at the dog park again. I guess this is kind of phase two. Um, the guys were unloading a skid steer loader as I was out there today. And um, so that should be, the, the additional cleanup should be well underway now. And um, that's about it. 
Thank you. John, do you have anything? Two more things quick. Um, trout have been stocked at uh, Lake Brittany for the first time. We're about to stock for the second time. And the Lake Ann drawdown is now currently at 40 inches. In the last week or so, we've made up some, some pretty significant ground, um, which is good because we're behind. Rick, weren't you talking about potentially extending? Um, yes. I, I haven't. I haven't posted it publicly yet but we have a at least a two-week uh, window where we can go into March uh, instead of the beginning of March maybe mid-March and not not affect things too bad so all right thank you Joan um, so as Mary mentioned um, <clears throat> Kathy um, manager of Reardon had a very successful holiday dance um, this Saturday and it was free and that was the first time that we did a holiday dance we've done holiday concerts that are free we've done other events but that was kind of a new thing and it proved to be successful and um, with the new um, reorganized jazz band that's local here to Bella Vista we've done a trade with them they give us a free concert in December and then we allow them to use her in hall for the Valentine's dance in February and that's where they make their money for um, supporting their band so it's worked out really well and Kathy works really hard on that and she's kind of creative in, in working with those groups so um, it was a nice it was a nice turnout um, we are celebrating the holidays and pushing some of our merchandise we recently got some new merchandise in at Blowing Springs both for Oz trails but then we did um, a, a limited run of some uh, beanie hats for the winter with the Boeing Springs logo on those so those turned out cute so we're we're starting to push all that out Blowing Springs had a really uh, busy November uh, better than budget uh, significantly um, I do attribute some of that to decent weather we had in November uh, but we were busier than expected not the week of Thanksgiving the week before Thanksgiving we still see a lot of people that um, come down for Thanksgiving but they also come down for fall breaks as well so um, and we were up in um, member usership of Blowing Springs so it's not just uh, guests that are using the park um, bad news um, that um, was alluded to earlier with Scott um, the kind of wanky door if, we, if for lack of a better term at oh. Metfield <laughs> That's a result of vandalism, ongoing vandalism that I have at Metfield Park and um, more recently ongoing vandalism that I'm getting at Kingsdale. So it's been repaired, but every time we repair it, it gets, it's functional, but it's not gonna look pretty until I replace that door, which I'm not planning on doing until the vandalism dies down. As a result of that, we lock those parks in the off season. When we're in prime season, there's a lot of people around it makes sense to leave those uh, doors open 24 7 it does not pay off in the off season so they're open during the day and Kingsdale um, I had we've tried it both ways um, but we're going back to locking them at night um, unfortunately um, it's just too much vandalism so um, that's an update there um, we recently came off a gift of thanks over Thanksgiving and what we do the Friday after Thanksgiving we allow up to two guests per uh, household they can get into any of the rec centers for free and just do you remember what kind of numbers you got uh, usually Branchwood sees a fair amount in the yeah, pools so I think 28, was our total 28 freebies so that's kind of a nice thing um, we have holiday hours uh, which will be going out next Monday in the rec e-letter and as well as in the Friday e-letters uh, so we'll be posting that well in advance and the rec centers will uh, announce it at each of their facilities uh, Christmas Eve this year is a POA holiday but we keep the rec centers open on the holidays we will be open at the rec centers from 7 to 11 that day 
Um, this weekend uh, coming up, we have a special event at, that happens out of Blowing Springs Park. It's actually uh, predominantly sponsored by the city and Rush Running. It's the Back 40 race. It's a combo two-day event of runners and bikers, or some do either or. So that will pick up out of uh, Blowing Springs this weekend. Trey's been busy winterizing the boats over at the marina. Um, since Trey's come on board, we've, we've kept a lot of the work in-house, well, mostly all the work in-house. Uh, we, in the past, have to outsource the winterizing. Uh, limited stuff has been done in the, in the house, but um, Trey has worked actively on doing that, so the boats are ready to be uh, stored and safely stored. And then um, we are also starting, Trey's been uh, leading this, uh, asked him to start a sort of a monthly forum or column, if you will, <coughs> called, um, we're calling it Tales from the Trails, where in our e-letters and in various things, like you'll see it in the January water bill, we're doing some education around the trails. Everything from how do you help maintain the trails, um, what can you do as a user to help make sure they stay well? And then most recently, one of our board members brought this up, that there's some confusion over the, the flashing lights that are on the city uh, right-of-ways. What do motorists need to do? What do trail users need to do? So Trey's put together um, an article on that, and you'll see that being pushed out in the next week or so. <clears throat> and then lastly, Jess, you want to come on up and give a quick update on what they did with the disc golf uh, pads and why we did that and what the benefit is and all that. Yeah. Um, so we had 11 holes of the 18 on the disc golf course that needed a tee pad. And when I say a tee pad, it's literally 10 by – it can be varying sizes, but it's a slab of concrete that they can run and tee off from. And if you don't have all the tee pads and you can't be sanctioned and you can't actually have a tournament that's official that a lot of people want to come to because um, they get points for being an amateur and a professional. But so we had advanced concrete services, Clay, um, a friend of some of the volunteers that built the course. Um, he came out and they worked very hard and they worked quickly. They had it done in three days. Um, they put in 11 new tee pads. And it was, if anybody's been out there, is it uh, the two holes that are back in the woods that most of the people who walk the trail don't see? Those two, they, I mean, they literally had to take a wheelbarrow and a little scoop and get the concrete there and get it laid out. And so they finished that very quickly. And so um, I've probably had at least 15 people come in and tell me thank you. And I actually got a phone call about it from somebody who plays out there. So they were really happy about that and so now it's really official so um, cool. so next summer I think it's going to be a lot busier and we'll get to have some tournaments and hopefully we'll have some members win again like last tournament cool and the other thing that's important to note is the tee pads because that course is more challenging than the traditional disc golf um, courses the tee pads help someone that you know it gives you a strong base of support so someone that's a little more novice of a player is going to do better off of a tee pad than just sort of standing in the in the woods if you will yeah, I because I, I, I played regular golf um, I always compare it to if you had to tee off from the rough as opposed to teeing off from a flat manicured surface so it, it really does. It helps. It, it does help the younger ones. So. And Jessica only put her handprints in three of the tee pads. <laughs> Initial stayed. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Joan, thank you. I have a question. I, for clarification, you said Christmas Eve, the workout facilities will be open from 7 to 11? Correct. At 11 in the morning. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Sorry. That's why I just wanted to Sorry. make sure. So, 7 a.m. So to 11 a.m. To 11 a.m. Yes. Okay. That's I want. Okay. Thanks. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was that if you get an annual membership, because right now we are under the assumption that the assessment increase will not pass. So if you go in 
uh, and get a um, now that's not an assumption I mean, it's just that's the reality that we have to deal with right now is so if you go in and you get a, an annual fitness or a gun range or a golf membership and the assessment increase is approved um, if your um, if the amount is if the difference is more than ten dollars you will get a check refund so you will get cash refund if it's ten dollars or less you'll get a credit to your account so we're doing that in hopes that people because uh, Joan, what Joan's seen is a lot of people are at least with the first vote are were pausing and waiting to see if it was going to be approved or not approved and then we immediately went into the second vote so the decision was made is that you know if you have a, a, a ten dollar or more credit you're going to get a check within four weeks yes sir can you explain the credit to your account how that's going to work for them? the credit to your account they can use it in a, a in a variety of different ways they could use it towards assessments they could uh, use it uh, in the golf shop here to buy merchandise uh, those types of things will it come as a gift card or will it just be on no it'll be on their account okay. it'll be on their account so. judy how i could spend my money <laughs> um, anyway it's fun i bought a lot of christmas presents at the gift shop so um, we're busy in marketing, of course, with the second vote coming around, so we have, um, you know, lots of work to do and changes and whatnot. Um, the new magazine we got on Friday, so, um, be looking for that in your mailboxes. It's, um, of course, as beautiful as ever, and, uh, I think the only other thing that Kim mentioned is that, uh, we will be making a, a revision to the fee schedule. Um, for the marina and for blowing springs so just be aware that that will be uh, made I think January 1st right so yeah. that's it does anyone have anything else yes I would like to say a positive comment about Facebook comments that are coming out about the 2020 plan because it's I mean it's explaining what the 2020 plan is doing and i think it's it's something that's very positive because i think everyone's been so negative so many people are negative on on facebook but the poa is sending out information Those are good. that are positive and yet it's just it's just a one statement that says this is the way it's going to work and so i i have to say that i think those are very very helpful and and um i appreciate the work well, we're trying to alleviate any confusion. Uh, there was a rumor that was going around that with the 2020 plan, the gym membership wouldn't be included if you got the activity card. And so we just wanted to address those concerns. Uh, and, uh, you know, in many cases, uh, uh, if a person is, uh, you know, following some of the other sites, they're probably also following our site. So uh, Tammy's been doing a good job of keeping track of and seeing some of the rumors that are out there and then we're posting information and trying to get the the, the factual information out within the community yeah. in a positive uplifting manner it's a good messages all right our next um meeting is january 13th four o'clock right here unless something else comes up okay. all right if there's nothing else do I have a motion to adjourn? We can adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the evening.